Morning YouTube. Today I want to focus on something very simple and it's just prepping your breakfast for the week. Um, if like me you work a nine to five then time is tight in the mornings and sometimes you don't want to eat breakfast straight away as soon as you wake up and then shoot straight out the door because one you don't get a chance to enjoy it, two it's a mad rush you don't get to have what you actually want to eat um, and three it's that's just no way to enjoy a meal, rush it, rushing it down, force feeding yourself. So this is my very simple, just chilled oats or adapting it to porridge to take with you to have either at work or on your journey, on your commute if you don't drive. I used to be the type of person that would get up in the morning and within five minutes of getting up, eat breakfast straight away, brush your teeth a minute later and be out the door. And then I started thinking, do you know what, I, I really want to enjoy my breakfast like I do at the weekend. I want to savour it because meal times and eating should be enjoyed. It takes less than a few minutes to prepare the whole week's batch essentially because you just weigh them out on the scales. And like I've said before, this channel is all about flexibility. So by understanding the nutrition and the macros that go into my bowls of oats, fruit, yogurt, milk, that sort of thing, then hopefully you can understand how you could flex that into your nutrition and understand how much you're actually consuming when you do pour in 100 grams of oats or more or less to tailor in your body composition goals, whether you're training for size or for fat loss. Basically, so I've put all the dry ingredients in here as you've seen me prep. Um, all the different ingredients. Now you can mix it up, you can put different nuts in, different fruits. Um, I like to mix up the different type of oats that go in there um, and the protein powder flavours, that's your choice. I mean you can make them chocolate oats but for me I don't want to have chocolate straight in the morning. Um, but just be aware, like I said, this is adaptable for having just chilled oats or if it's a cold winter's morning, take it to the office and stick it in the microwave for porridge. I wouldn't put whey protein in this mix for porridge because it clumps together as soon as it gets heated with it with everything else and it just makes it really nasty um, so perhaps add that in at the end rather than cook it with, with everything else in the microwave because it just ruins the consistency of porridge um, yes there are ready-made options that would be quicker that would be easier for you I mean we've got some here um, I actually really like this. Um, it's got no added sugar and it has a high protein content. It does have a high sugar content, but that's because of the skimmed milk powder. So it's from the, the milk rather than actual sugar. Um, the flavors are good. I mean, you've got your more typical Quaker Oats um, ready mix for porridge. Now these are great if time is tight and if you're not worried about budget, but like I said, I'm, a, I'm just a regular person, so these are at least a pound each. That's five pounds a day if you're going to have one of these for Monday to Friday, not for your job. So that really adds up over time, especially if you're not meal prepping your lunch and or your dinners, then you're going to be going out, grabbing something then as well. Um, and also the biggest thing for me is, is volume. These are tiny pots because they'll use ground oats, and like skim milk powder, there isn't any fruit or anything like that in there to bulk it out. So this small pot doesn't really what stack up against my own mix. Um, so it's a no-brainer. This is cheaper. I can control the flavours of it. I can control the nutrition of it as well. So I can add more protein, more carbs, or take that away. Add more fats by adding more nuts in or some peanut butter. Whereas this is, this is a good go-to. This is good to have in the drawer or in the kitchen cupboard. It can be so flexible because once you just start understanding the nutrition of the ingredients that go into your own bowls, then you can easily make your lunch or your dinner bigger or smaller, whether or not you fancy having a massive bowl of chilled oats in the morning. Because if you're not that much of a breakfast person, then don't eat much breakfast. All you have to do is the night before, get one out and prep all the wet ingredients in there. So take the scales, put that on the scales. And then for me, I like a really thick consistency of chilled oats or porridge. 
Um, so I, I usually use about 100 milliliters of milk, maybe a little bit less, and then some 0% um, Greek yogurt. You know, you can use very different types. Again, if you don't want, if you don't like nuts, if you've got an allergy there, you can get your fats from 2%, 5% uh, or normal Greek yogurt. Um, so again, that's, it's about knowing when and where to flex that in. So for me, it'd be much nicer to eat the fats rather than just have them in the Greek yogurt where you're not really aware of them. So that's why I'll opt for 0% and also the protein content is a bit higher. Um, so I just pour in the milk um, in there. At the moment I'm using this 1% protein milk, not because it's got added protein in it and because that's a bit of a marketing fad and it costs 20p more than normal milk, but because it has some extra hydrolyzed milk protein added to the normal milk, which gives it the higher protein content. I mean, it's only two grams more protein than a usual serving of milk. So if you don't buy into that, then that's absolutely fine. But like I said, the main reason I'm getting this is because it actually, that extra ingredient gives it a creamier taste. So it tastes more like higher fat milk, um, but it's completely your preference. Nut milk works brilliantly and it's lower in carbs. Um, but just be, be aware, some of them do have added sugars in. Um, so I'll do that. I then zero this, then add in some Greek yogurt. A standard pot of 0% is around 170 grams. And in that 170 grams, you get about 17 or 18 grams of protein. So I tend to stick to that because that's a good amount when you think of the added protein that you've already got from the milk and from the oats and the nuts. And if you're adding in protein powder there too. So a pot would be more than enough. Um, so I like to have some of that on top of the oats rather than it all just mixed in. Again, mix up the consistency. So that's what I try to achieve with even something as simple um, as breakfast oats because I'm a loser. Um, but basically I want that thick consistency that's still creamy with a bit of crunch from the nuts as well as a bit of yogurt on top because it differentiates it from rather just being one big sloppy bowl. So I'll probably tend to mix in maybe 60 or 70 grams of this into the oats and stir it in like this. So what we've got there, 80, that'll do nicely. Stir this in. So that's that mainly mixed in. There we go, tap that off and then get the rest of this yogurt on top and get it up to about 170. Now at this point, I would always add in something else. So probably some blueberries, either fresh or frozen. And if, if you're doing this overnight, the frozen ones would obviously defrost overnight in the fridge in here. Um, so I'd add those on, as well as you know my choice of syrups or just some good old fashioned honey. Um, or if you don't want the added sugars, the carbohydrates from the honey, then zero free syrups are really good. There's a zero free syrup um, in honey flavor at bulk powders, which is close to honey. It's not quite honey flavor, but it's near enough. Um, or golden syrup, maple syrup, whatever takes your fancy. Um, then you'd stick all that on, lock it up, stick it in the fridge overnight, and then take it out and you're good to go to work. Now there are obviously mornings where you'll wake up and you'll be absolutely famished will need something to eat. You just feel like you could eat the world straight away. Now obviously you've got two options. You can either, if you've got enough time, have your breakfast at home, which is absolutely fine. Or if you wanna have like a stop gap that's not going to throw your macros off too much and is a good way to start the day, a humble egg. You can have scrambled eggs in less than two minutes. Um, and I'll show you how this is warm, so it fills you up in that sense as well because hotter foods have a more filling effect. Um, enough to sustain me to the office to then enjoy my actual breakfast. You can either crack in all the yolk or you can crack in half the yolk or just make it egg white if you want to avoid those extra fats and save them for later in the day. I'm not saying the fat's a bad thing. I'm just saying that sometimes you may want to save that fat for whatever's in your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner or for the ice cream that you're gonna have straight after dinner. It's your choice. So, into a bowl, as you would do, scrambled eggs in less than a minute. I'll add a splash of milk. 
you don't have to add any milk whatsoever. Remember, the more milk you add, the more water it gets. And when you do that, in, uh, like this in the microwave, then it will sort of ruin the scramble. So you want to be careful with how much milk you add per egg. So mix this up so it's all scrambled, mix it like that. Stick it in the microwave. One egg, about a minute. It depends on your microwave. Um, but yeah, that should usually scramble. If it starts popping, then you want to stop it because it's essentially exploding. Um, I can almost guarantee that when you go to a restaurant for breakfast or brunch and order scrambled eggs and think, oh, that someone's going to be making me some creamy, lovely scrambled eggs, I pretty much guarantee that they will not be stood over a stove scrambling your eggs with a little bit of butter, chives and pepper that we use in the microwave. It's a trick of a trade as chefs are because it's quick, it's easy. Um, if you order omelettes and poached eggs, sure, they're done properly on the pan. Um, and at the weekend, you may want to take the time to scramble eggs properly. But for me, this is so simple. And because you're controlling it, you know how much scramble you want, whether you want it really loose, really wet, or dry, more like an omelet. Um, so I'm gonna stop this now. And yeah, sure enough, it's now puffed up in real time, um, as you can see. And we have basic, it's more like a little mini omelet, if you can see that. Um, and so yeah, flip, that's ready. And obviously you can munch that down in 30 seconds and be out the door and have your actual breakfast later on and still enjoy a bit of both really. So you're getting to have scrambled eggs and oats. Winning.